Hi, I'm Allie from the Terra team. And in this video, I'll introduce workflows, one of two analysis modes you can use in Terra. I'll go over what is a workflow, how to find the workflows you need for your analysis, and how to set up and run a workflow in a Terra workspace. What is a workflow? If you break a study into three stages, data access, analysis, and sharing, workflows are a tool you can use for the analysis phase. They're a set of instructions composed of multiple connected steps, generally used for automated bulk processing data. You set them up and submit right in your workspace, then Terra configures and runs them on a virtual machine in the cloud for you. Examples of analyses you might do with a workflow include cleaning and prepping genomic data and additional GATK practices such as germline variant calling, somatic variant calling, and functional annotations with Funcatator. But there are lots of examples of analyses you can do with a workflow. Workflows in Terra are written in the workflow description language, pronounced Whittles, a human-readable and writable syntax. And if you're not a coding expert, the good news is you may not need to write your own workflow from scratch. Terra has resources for open source workflows you can use out of the box or modify for your analysis. Curated showcase workspaces are great as templates or tutorials. Each one includes pre-configured workflows and enough documentation to let you run on included sample data. DocStore is a GA4GH compliant open source platform for sharing Docker-based tools. You'll find hundreds of Whittle workflows, including the most up-to-date GATK workflows on DocStore. And the Broad Methods Repository. This legacy collection contains hundreds of workflows developed primarily by and for the Terra user community. You can learn more about how to find the right workflow and bring it into your workspace by watching the video in the next steps description below. Now let's go to Terra and walk through a workflow analysis. Once you have the workflow you need, you can start your analysis from either selecting data in the data tab or selecting the workflow. Go to the data tab and select the table rows that contain the data you want to run on. Click on the three vertical dots at the top right and select Open with Workflow. Choose the workflow to run and Terra will take you to the setup form where you'll be able to set runtime options, view the Whittle script, and configure input and output parameters. To start by choosing the workflow, you go to the Workflows tab when you click the name, you'll end up with the same setup form. After you complete the form, you can launch the analysis by clicking the Run Analysis button and then, when prompted, the Confirm Launch button. One nice thing about Terra, if your workflow is set up to run on data from the data table, like this one is, you'll only need to set it up once. After that, you can run on as many samples as you want without much extra work. Thanks for joining me for this Intro to Workflows on Terra. You'll find how-tos and tutorials online at support.terra.bio. And for hands-on practice setting up and running a workflow, check out the Terra Workflows Quick Start. The link's in the description right below this video.